Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. So today we are going to discuss about a very important topic with respect to cloud computing. So first let me give you a scenario. Okay, so you want to buy a laptop, okay? And you have a configuration uh, requirement like two cores and eight GB RAM and any operating system, for example, Linux. So this is your basic configuration requirement. Now you just need a laptop for your college work or for your work. Now you are just planning to go for offline store and you are visiting the very first store and they have a price tag for the spec what you have given to them. So they are just telling you 80,000 rupees in Indian rupees. Now you just wanted to check in some other offline stores as well. Now you are going from the second store and for the same spec they are giving you a price tag of 90,000 Indian rupees. Now you are going for a third store, for the same spec, they are charging you, like their price tag is around 70,000 rupees. Now you wanted to check in online. In online, they are giving it for 65,000 rupees. Now you could see some of the price difference for the same spec, but the different stores offers you different price. Now the same thing, let's try to apply. For example, I'm not going to buy a physical laptop. Now I'm just planning to buy a virtual machine. And virtual machine is something what we call it as cloud computing. So the every services that what this cloud sellers will do, they provide as in virtual. For example, you need software as a service, hardware as a service, uh, big data as a service, blockchain as a service, mobile development as a service, network as a service, infrastructure as a service, and everything. Now imagine you need to add like 8 GB RAM to you have to increase to 16 GB RAM in cloud just like that you can do it. Right? Now you are planning to buy a virtual machine, right? And then you are going for cloud. In cloud, they are selling you the virtual machine, but you can choose your RAM and core, and you can choose your operating system and many other stuff. And pay for what you use as the cloud system, how the payment in the cloud world workers pay as you go. So even though it is pay as you go, right? Pay as you use, but still you have to pay. So now we need to know what is the price difference. For example, I just need a Linux machine with the two cores and 8 GB RAM. Now, who are all the leading cloud providers in the market? AWS, Google Cloud, and Azure, right? Let's take only these three vendors. Now, how can I check the price? And these three companies, they provide price calculator in their website, where we can just choose the service. For example, virtual system service, so each of these cloud providers have their own name to this virtual machine. In AWS, we call it as EC2. In Google Cloud, we call it as Google Compute Engine. And in Azure, we call it as Azure Virtual Machine. Okay, so it's all like virtual machine concept. So now let's get into these pricing calculator and let's see the price difference. So please do watch this video completely. I'm going to tell you one important bonus point at the end, which will be really helpful. Only solution architects and managers knows about this information. But now I'm going to tell you for all. So please do watch the video completely. Now let's jump into the pricing calculator. Okay. So now let's discuss about the pricing calculator provided by each of the uh, cloud service vendor. So if you take Google Cloud, we have this uh, pricing calculator site. And then for Azure also, we do have this pricing calculator website. And for even AWS, we do have. So what you need to do is just go to Google and just search for Google rising calculator so that takes you to the page so just click the first link and then it takes you to the google cloud pricing calculator page and you will be seeing an option add estimate when you click it the very first service that shows you is compute engine which is just a virtual machine so they do have all the service okay so you just choose only the compute engine and then you get to all the calculation now similar way you can search for aws pricing calculator Azure Pricing Calculator, and that takes you to the website. Now let's go to the Google Cloud Pricing Calculator. So here I'm just using one instance. One instance means it's equal to one laptop. Okay, so one virtual instance, one virtual machine. So they always used to call virtual machines as instance. Okay, so 730 hours, that means one month. One month, we have only 730 hours. 730 hours I'm going to use, which is one month for one instance. And the operating system, which I'm going to use is Unix oriented. So I've just choose Ubuntu. And then the provision model is regular. And then here I choose two cores of CPU at 8 GB RAM. And for every configuration that you choose, they will be having a mission type name. For example, if you choose this config, the type of uh, mission name is Yannick Core Standard 2. Like that, you will be having so many names. The same way if you go for uh, AWS also, 
see you can see so many mission types here so based on the config we choose the mission type name will get changed okay now with this let's get the bill okay it says like 69 dollars for all this configuration now the same thing let's do it in azure as well so when you just come to the website this is the main page where the first thing is virtual mission okay so in azure it is azure virtual mission so in any cloud sellers you go the very first service in the pricing calculator will be virtual mission only here virtual mission just click this if you come down yeah so here i choose linux and the uh, operating system is ubuntu and here the instance type name is d2sv5 which is cpu at 8 gp ram 730 hours the same pay as you go model and they charge 70 dollars okay now let's do for uh, aws so aws also you have to ec2 instance and then come down choose linux it's a standard again and then one instance and then uh I'll be giving the, the hours, okay, 7.30 hours. And then I choose M4.Large, which is like 2 CPU, 8 GB RAM. Now, they charge $73 per month. Okay, so if you take uh, Google Cloud seems to be very cheap compared to these two. But just with this, we cannot conclude that, okay, Google Cloud is cheap. So, it's not like that. Okay. So, you have to uh, do a lot of analysis on this. So, this is an initial level of analysis. So you have to watch the video completely for that. And before we go for next, right, I just wanted to tell you, many cloud developers, they used to say like, uh, yes, we are aware of cloud, we are aware of services like with Shell Mission or EC2, blah, blah, stuff. But the thing is, they don't know how to do the cost management. So only your manager and solution architect knows very well about it. But imagine they are giving you a task. Your manager is giving you a task that we are planning to use cloud providers like AWS or Google Cloud or Azure. Let me know the cost budget of each of this. So now you can jump into this pricing calculator, right? And you can uh, choose the service whichever required for your project and get the details like what volume of data we're going to use and how long we are going to use. And with all that, just prepare a slide and then you just give it to them. So with that, they will carry forward. Okay. So now please do watch the video completely till end. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. So now we have seen the pricing calculators and how. The price difference for the virtual mission for the given spec as same across all these three vendors right now the important bonus point let's come to that point right so now the thing is all these pricings for example if you have noticed right so azure gives you less price compared to other two vendors right so with that i cannot just like that blindly say okay let's go for azure okay so the thing is these cloud providers gives you discounts as well Right, so if you go for the first scenario, which I said you want to buy a laptop and you are going for uh, three offline stores and these stores will give you discounts. They will say, yeah, this is the price, but if you are really going to buy it, I'll give you, I'll make a discount for you. I'll go, I'll make a discount for you and I'll give this free stuff, something like that. They use this as a marketing strategy, right? So similarly, these cloud providers for the top companies, when they use their cloud system, they give discounts. Okay, that's very important. And that's why some company used to say, like, we use Google Cloud and they are cheap. But when I see from the outside of the company, I'll see, oh, this company is used Google Cloud or AWS Cloud, but they are costly, right? How come they are using? I'm using the normal pricing calculator and I see they are, like, costly. But only the company knows that we get discounts from AWS or Google Cloud, right? So they give a customized discounts for them. So they provide discounts like volume discounts, committed user contracts. So these are some of the discounts they give. So committed user contract means you have to give them the guarantee that for sure I will be using this much service and this much volume of data. So when you give this guarantee, right, and they will give you the discount and there is a contract between you and AWS. So when when just with the help of this basic pricing calculator, we just, we cannot decide like we can go for Google Cloud or AWS. It's not like that. So we have to set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the customer support manager from AWS or Google Cloud or Azure and we have to tell them that this is our project and this is the volume of data we have. So just tell us like what will be the discounts that you will be providing to me. So given the condition, I'm a very big company. If I'm onboarded as a client for you and that is a very biggest strength for you. So we have to say like this. So if I am a company and I want to use Google Cloud or AWS and I have to tell them that so this is how your solution architects and managers talks to the cloud. Uh, providers right so the whole picture happens this way but without knowing all this an average software engineer or developer used to uh, raise a questions or they used to debate
saying that Google Cloud is costly or AWS is costly or Azure is costly. I don't know how come they are using it in my company, right? In interviews, people can ask you, right? Some some people are trusting you when, or some interviewer can ask you. So imagine there is they are putting a scenario like, see, Google Cloud is costly and you are saying that your company is using Google Cloud or AWS. How you are going to justify this? Now you have to say it this way so that the interviewer will be get impressed actually, right? So this is the bonus point which I wanted to tell you. And thanks for watching. If you really like this video, please do subscribe my channel and follow it to your friends and colleagues. And I have an Instagram page called The Data Tech where I used to put a lot of short videos. Please do follow me there as well. Thanks for watching.